Welcome to another episode of Eberhardt Outdoors. Uh, my name is John Eberhardt. I've been bow hunting for a long time. I'm 73 years old, been bow hunting for 58 years. I've hunted in six states, including Michigan. I've uh, been relatively successful, I think. And I've been working on a project for 18 months, since January of 2023. It's been a long, strenuous project, and it's uh, been writing my last book, basically. And I also have a co-author, uh, Greg Godfrey, who's a co-owner of Tether. There is nothing that's left out of this book. It took me so long, and it's so detail-oriented, and it covers so many topics and subtopics that it ended up being like 800 and some pages. And uh, when I sent it to the book designer, he said, there's no way you can publish an 800-page, 6x9 book. So uh, we, I decided to do it in three volumes. So there's a, it's a three-volume book. It's titled Ultimate Guide to DIY Bucks. Each volume is kind of in succession of the way the book should be read, in my opinion. And each volume is as long as any of my other three books. So the other three books were all around 220 to 250 pages, and each volume of this book is in that same realm of pages. So there is a ton of new information. I covered a lot of the old information because I can't write a book and assume everybody read my other books, my other three books. So there's a lot of new information in this. There's a lot more detail in it. It covers pretty much everything to do with bow hunting. I don't care what state you live in, from Florida to Michigan to, to up in the Northeast to the Dakotas. You know, Greg's hunted in, I think, 16 different states. I've hunted in six different states, including my home state of Michigan. So uh, we have a lot of firsthand knowledge on the differences between hunting in lightly hunted states, Midwestern states versus you know, Florida swamps, uh, pine pine forests down in the south, southern states, which Greg's hunted a lot I've never had. Uh, hill country, we've hunted every place. It doesn't matter, we've hunted every type of terrain that there is. And just so uh, you get an idea, I'm gonna show you the covers. So this is volume one. So on the back cover of the books are the chapters, and when you, if you do go online to purchase these, you'll be able to see these. Volume one, the chapters are the introduction, which is the bios of everybody involved in this book. Hunting pressure realities, that's a chapter. Saddle hunting, we got a complete and very thorough chapter on learning how to saddle hunt. Another chapter is the four segments of the season. Uh, then you have postseason scouting, which in my opinion is probably the most important chapter to read of all these books. Uh, Postseason scouting is a big part of why I've been so successful, huge part. And then you've got one of the one of the seasons, the early season and lull chapter is actually the last chapter in this book. So I talk about the four segments of the season, and then one of those segments is actually a chapter within this book. So this is book one, volume one. This is volume two. And in this book, we have pre and peak rut chapter, post rut and late season chapter, rut staging areas, hunting from the ground, hunting standing corn, open to hunting public lands, suburban hunting, location preparation tools, location preparation, a lot of information in the location preparation. Um, that kind of tells you what trees to pick out, entry and exit routes, how to prepare trees. Um, that's a very critical, in my opinion, that's a very critical chapter as well. And then it has a chapter on DIY freelance hunting. That explains what DIY hunting is truly about, just taking off with your gear, going in the woods, never having been to the area before, scouting something out on the spur of the moment and hunting it. That's DIY hunting. And then volume three, and obviously the book title is DIY Bucks, uh, Ultimate Guide to DIY Bucks, but this is not strictly for just freelance hunting. This is for hunting every place, 
around across the country, whether it be, you know, slightly managed property, public land, uh, free permission, you know, your own personal property, leases, whatever. So on this book here, this is volume three, this has a chapter on scent control, pre-season and in-season scouting, motion cameras, pre-season speed tours, fake hunting tactics that covers like rattling, sparring, calls, scents, decoys, anything to do with that, um, what to take hunting, the gear to take hunting, hunting in inclement weather, recovering bow shot whitetails, travel hunting, hunting access and health and conditioning. And throughout this book, there's state by state statistics as well. In other words, it has land mass per state, it has hunter densities per state, basically taking hunter license sales, dividing them into land mass. That gives you a, uh, some semblance of how much hunting pressure that state really has. Obviously, a state can change from area to area within a state, but that's just a general over, overall look at what the hunting density or the hunting pressure is in that particular state. Uh, and then it has PNY entries per licensed hunters. There's just a lot of statistics, and those statistics are that just that. They are statistics. That's not rhetoric, something I pulled out of my hat. Those are researched statistics via books, Pope and Young record books. Um, there's books out there that give the license sales every year for every state. Uh, the U.S. Almanac gives the land mass per state. So there's a lot of research in those statistics. And again, I've been bow hunting for 58 seasons. Greg's been bow hunting for 30 seasons. I've hunted six states. Greg's hunted, I think, 16 states. And there's no stone unturned. Even though there, there's 27 chapters here, there are hundreds of subtopics throughout those chapters. You, you name it. I mean, anything to do with anything concerning bow hunting and, or gun hunting. This is for gun hunters as well. This is for any, any hunters, don't, no matter the weapon or where they're hunting. There's 84 condensed kill stories in this book. Um, with photos of the actual kills and some of those stories are from Mark Kenyon who owns Wired to Hunt podcast. Uh, some are from Garrett Prawl who owns DIY Sportsman. A lot of you guys probably heard of those guys. Uh, Andy May does a lot of podcasts and he's kind of a big buck killer from Michigan. He travel hunts quite a lot. And then Ernie Power who's the other co-owner of Tethered also has a couple kill stories in here. And there's pictures of those. So there's 84 kills, kill stories. And there's tons of pictures of just general hunting stuff. And they're all in color, everything's in color. So I think it's quite obvious that most experienced hunters can testify to the challenges of hunting pressured whitetail bucks. And when you're hunting pressured deer, which this book is primarily about hunting deer under normal hunting conditions, you know, those mature bucks, they have an increased wariness and they're just much better at evading hunters than deer in lightly hunted and managed areas. Uh, now this book is good for lightly hunted and managed areas as well, but it goes into more detail on how to hunt pressured areas, you know, which is what the majority of the 6 million bow hunters in this country and 11 million gun hunters hunt. So whether you're a bow or a gun hunter, crossbow, muzzleloader, whatever it is or wherever you hunt, uh, the info in this book, or this series of books, will definitely make you a threat to any buck you ever pursue, no matter where you're hunting. And again, the focus is to help hunters take mature bucks in natural environments, on natural patterns or movement routines, at natural feeding areas such as mast and fruit trees, and under normal, natural hunting conditions. Once you learn how to kill and get on mature bucks in pressured areas, you can go any place, any place in this country on any property and you'd be a serious threat to whatever mature bucks are on that property. Because once you can learn how to kill mature bucks and how to use security cover and how to hunt security cover and learn how to naturally pattern deer, you can basically go any place and, and, and do very well. Now, to give you a little bit of stats on myself, Again, I've been bow hunting for 58 years. I've got 35 bucks listed in the Michigan record book, and I have 20 bucks 
Pope and Young Bucks from out of state. So I've got 55 total record book bucks. And again, everything I've hunted has been on public or free permission properties. I shouldn't say again, because I don't know if I said that before, but I have 100% all of my life bow hunted on public land and free permission properties. I've never hunted a lease. I've never paid a dime on any place in my life. I don't hunt over bait. I don't have any family farms. So it's all, it's all just bow hunting that has, has had to require a lot of work and a lot of learning experience. And I would, I'm really happy to share that with you. You know, people put so much time and effort into bow hunting and a lot of money. And anything I can do to help people become better at it, uh, you know, I love that. That that's what I've always done throughout my entire life. I've written hundreds of articles. I've written three books. I've done hundreds of seminars across the country, and uh, I just want to help hunters become better. Uh, the the price of these books, unfortunately, it had to be a three series book. So um, you, for seventy nine ninety nine, you can get the, all three all three books, and that's obviously what I'm going to recommend. And they're available on Tethered's website. Tethered is the fulfillment center. I'm kind of on Tethered's pro staff. I'm on Matthew's pro staff. I'm on several other pro staffs. But Tethered has a page. So if you just Google this, www.tethered.com slash DIY bucks, it'll take you right to the page where the books are for sale gives you a, a pretty long description of what's in the books, shows all the book covers, all the book back covers, also shows the spines. When you have the three books together on a shelf, the spines form a picture of a big buck. You kind of have to have all three books in that series to get that full picture of that buck on those spines. So I've got a lot of years invested into this, a lot of time into hunting. Um, Anybody that's known me, I'm pretty blunt, and pretty honest. I have been over the years. I've probably pissed a lot of people off. Um, but my goal is to cut through the BS, cut through the rhetoric, and uh, just give people factual information, whether it be statistics or whatever. Um, I was a sales rep in the hunting industry for 30 some years. I was a buyer at one of Michigan's, uh, Michigan's largest uh, sporting goods store in its day and I've just spent a lot of time in the industry and I know how much rhetoric there can be so you know I like to cut through all the generic stuff and all the false rhetoric and you'll if you buy and read these books you will definitely notice there's no fluff there's no fluff in these books it's all very to the point in your face information on how to take mature bucks no matter where you hunt. That's what it's all about. That's why we spend so much time and money and enjoy nature. I mean, it, it's all encompassing. You know, it's October 5th, 2024 right now. And uh, it's a beautiful day. It's dipped down into the 60s. I'm gonna go hunting this afternoon. And um, I'm assuming a lot of you will be as well. But uh, anyway, I wish you all the best, hunt safe, good hunting, and I hope you have great success. Thank you.